This video will guide you on the basics about the Vision Pro Learning Center. Getting started with Vision Pro Learning Center. At the end of this video, you will have an understanding of what the admin menu is for, how users are created and imported, and how to create groups and to assign users to groups. Furthermore, you will learn how class sites are created, how a new page is created and how to add assessments. Lastly, this video will give a quick demonstration on creating questions for an assessment users. Assuming that you have created an account from the sign up link, this is how the opening page looks like. The portal displays your school name and logo at the top, a menu that appears on the left, and a page with a preliminary text in the middle. Click the Administrator Toolbar button. Note, the Admin Toolbar button can be moved across the screen and remembers its position until it is moved the next time. The first thing you need to do is to create an account for users, for teachers who will create assessments, and students who will answer created assessments. On the Admin menu, click Manage Portal, and select Manage Users. On the Manage User page, click Add New User button and fill up the fields. Roles can be a student, teacher or admin. In this example, select Student. Click Save. Users can also be imported from a file. To do this, you must first click the Export button to export an empty file to obtain the format. Assume that we have added a few more users. Creating Groups Users can be assigned to groups to make access management easier. For example, students in a certain grade or level can be assigned in one group, and teachers in another group. On the Admin menu, click Manage Portal, and select Manage Groups. On the Groups page, click Add New Group button. Assign a name for the group and add selected users to the group. By repeating the same steps, create another group named Teachers. Now we have created a few users and have assigned them in two groups. Managing Class Sites The next step is to create class sites, one for each class that will make use of the assessment portal. On the Admin menu, click Manage Portal. Then select Manage Class Sites. The sites that are already listed are default sites. These can only be seen using an administrator account. Take note that these default sites are not to be deleted or modified. Click Add New Class Site button. Give the site a name, for example Science 5th Grade. Then, click Save button. Click View Class Site. Now, you have a new class site. Let us proceed with defining who can access the site. In the Admin menu, click Manage Portal. Select Manage Class Sites. Click the name of the site you just created. Expand Site Groups and add the relevant group. Now you have created a science class site for students in 5th grade and made sure that the students have access to it. Note that login credentials for actual students to access the site are sent through email. Furthermore, using the edit text on the admin menu, you can edit the text on the page, as well as add graphics to make it more relevant and appealing. Adding a new page and creating assessments. On the Admin menu, click Add New Page. Assign a name for the page, let's say, Math Basics. Click Save. The assessment page automatically opens. Assign a name for the assessment. For example, Math Quiz. Then, create questions using the Add Question button. In this example there are three different questions created, a numeric, a multiple choice and a sequence drag and drop question. Let's take a closer look on the created questions. 
to create a numeric question type, you simply need to enter the question on the question text field, and the right answer on the match text field under options. This is an example of a multiple choice question type. It contains a field where you'll enter the question. And below are the options fields. By default, there are four options. To add more, you can simply click Add Choice button. Make sure to set the correct answer to the question by selecting the appropriate radio button. The last example is a sequence drag and drop question. This is answerable by arranging the choices in a certain sequence the question asks for. In the question drag and drop editor, you can assign the correct sequence by following the list order on the options part. Now, the assessment is already available on the menu. Once logged in, students will be able to access and take the created assessment. Logging in as a student. Enter the username and password. Then click Login button. Once logged in, the available class site is displayed. If you'll notice, this is the class site we have previously created and the logged in student is given access to this class site. Click Science 5th Grade. Since the logged in student is part of the class site, she also has access to the available assessment. The available assessment displayed in this example is the assessment that was previously created. Let us view the assessment. Click Start button. Click Show Feedback. This immediately tells you whether your answer matches with the set correct answer. Then click Next button to proceed to the next question. Now, click Finish button. Once the assessment is completed, the student is given an evaluation whether he or she passed the assessment. The student also has the option to check the summary of his exam. Click Review Questions button. This gives you a detailed list of the status of your assessment per question. You've learned the basics in managing the Vision Pro Learning Center. Thank you for your attention.